this is really special, okay guys? First 10 people that get here, Dr. Weaver said, give them some nice cold water. So I've got some free bottled water here for the first 10 that come on over. Because Dr. Weaver's gonna make sure that we stay healthy and happy today. Now, all right, I'm gonna grab the water. Look at that. You know you want free water. One. Go ahead. Over here, Jeff. Hi. Two. Okay. There you go. All right. If you guys stay here, just stick around. There could be more prizes in it for you. I'm telling you, this is all going to be wonderful. All right. If you guys stay here, so I have Dr. Weaver is up on the stage. She is going to give us some great health tips, but just, just like life tips, just, just to get through the day wonderfully, relax, how to better enjoy everything. So if we can have a big hand. Even our vendors, if you have second people with you, please, please come on out here and take advantage of this. You don't normally get something like this for free. I pay an awful lot of money for this therapy and advice. So come on over. It's free today, guys. changed my life forever. And I was 10 years old. How old are you? 10. 10. Are you 10? 10. You're 10? 10. I'm 10 years old. I was 10 years old. 8. You got to be careful on your bikes, right? So I'm 10 years old. My life changed forever that day. And I couldn't breathe. So how can I breathe now? I was on breathing machines morning and night and taking medications and drugs and all that led to more drugs in my life. I wanted to find a way where I could breathe without medications. Does anybody have asthma? Does anybody have allergies? <laughs> You can definitely benefit from my book today, Learning How to Breathe. So I, I went, here I am, and my parents did not want me to be outside, especially in the spring, because I couldn't breathe. I was allergic to everything. And when I say allergic to everything, my parents wanted to put me in a plastic bubble. Yes, I was one of those people that had plastic on my sheets. I couldn't have stuffed animals. Do you guys like stuffed animals? Yeah, I couldn't have stuffed animals because they made me have an asthma attack. So my parents kept taking me to the ER to get drugs and shots to help me to breathe. Well, one day, my wonderful Amazon Uncle John told me he would come from the Amazon jungle and he would bring me in these natural herbs and remedies 
like eucalyptus and peppermint leaves and he would make me a tea and from that tea I would put that steam that tea in my face and that actually helped me breathe better than sometimes the breathing machine so I learned that natural things can actually help me to breathe pretty amazing right so I decided to jump in and learn about natural healing. So I am a chiropractor, and what do we do as chiropractors? We work on people's backs. We work on people's backs, right. So if you remember my story, I'm 10 years old, riding my brand new pink bicycle, and boom, I messed up my head and neck, messed up my spine. So what can we do to breathe better? One, B, take care of your back, right? So I have these, who wants to get on stage with me and practice? You actually get some exercise bands if you do it. Come on up, come on up. So put your back down. What I want you to do is, stretch that out very good what that does <laughs> what that does if you do it consistent try it one more time there you go and then relax what that does is help strengthen the bed back to help your spine get back on your head back on your spine right what are we doing as kids we shouldn't be out here playing, but a lot of times we're looking at cell phones and computer screens and we're looking down all the time. So these exercises actually help your spine to take care of your back. And if you don't take care of your back, believe me, I've helped thousands of people with back issues that they don't take care of their back. So we have to take care of our back. That's the number one thing. So we're going to go over B, back, R. R is for relax. We just have to calm our nerves and chill out. You know, we live in a society where we're go, 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 taking our kids here and there, and we just need to take the time to take a deep breath. So breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. And when you do that, you actually increase oxygen to your brain if you breathe through your nose. Did you guys know that? So consistently close your mouth and breathe through your nose. Let's do it again. Very good. Now I don't have any essential oils, but E stands for essential oils. And what I love, my first one that my uncle told me about was peppermint. So I've been using, and there's Young Living over here, and I'm sure they have essential oils because that's what they're all about. And so peppermint actually helps increase your oxygen levels by 28% to your brain. How awesome is that? Also, peppermint opens up your sinuses, and I recommend Melaleuca that helps clean the air, and another one is eucalyptus. Those three are my favorite that I list in my book. All right? So A stands for allergies. We have to identify what we are allergic to so we can stay away and build up our immune system to, so we can breathe better. T stands for thermography, and today, Dr. Lisa, give a high five, Dr. Lisa, woo! Dr. Lisa's actually doing some thermography scans, and give us a hot wave, and woo! And is actually doing thermography on your feet. Why are you doing thermography on your feet, Dr. Weaver? Well, how many people are not walking right? <laughs> So we got to take care of our spines, we got to take care of our feet, and we also got to take care of our neck. So Dr. Lisa and Ann are actually doing free thermography scans today. And the last one I want to go over is H. And H is heal from within. Just like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz had all the power inside her to get home with her shoes, we have all the power inside us to heal with our breath. Thank you guys so much. I have, where'd the little girl go? You didn't get your exercise, man. Or maybe she did.
didn't take it. All right. You take it for her. Okay. All right. And I have some brains. And who would like a free book? Sandra, come up and get your free book. I will sign it for you, Sandra. You didn't even know it's gonna be here today. All right. And who wants some brains? I see my kids. Come on up. You guys want some brains? These are some good stress balls. <laughs> I tried to hit my husband. It didn't work. <laughs> there you go, Hadley. Cora. Oh, look, she already got it right there. That was a bad throw there, Dr. Weaver. There you go.